What's up YouTube? This is Lizard to one here and today I'm going to show you how to do custom exports in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is my third tutorial in the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials playlist. And for this tutorial, you will need to pick up Compressor 4 from the Mac App Store for $50. Now you can use a previous version of Compressor, for example, Compressor 3 from Final Cut Studio 3 to export this, or to compress this, I should say, but it does require a few extra, extra steps to do so. So for now, I'm just going to show you how to do this tutorial with Compressor 4. So here I've got some footage in the timeline here that is ready to be exported. Now I've already exported it, and if I show you how, how much um, space it took up, I'm going to go ahead and show you the desktop here. And just swipe two fingers up. There we go. That's the video that is in the timeline. I go ahead and press get info. That is 118.1 megabytes for about, let's see, maybe a one minute and a five second clip. So we need to compress that because that is just way too big. So we go ahead and choose share, export movie. You will see you get just barely any options. You choose export current settings, obviously, as well as Apple ProRes, which is very common. And there, this is what we need, H.264 for YouTube. So you go ahead and select that, and you don't see that many options here. Unlike Final Cut Pro 7, you don't get that a sort of box where you could adjust the quality and the audio quality and whatnot. So this is where a compressor comes into play. So what we're going to head and we're going to head and go to do is open up compressor like I've already done here. And you see, I've added something. I've added a QuickTime movie. So we're just going to start fresh. We're going to delete, going to delete that and add QuickTime movie to your custom exports folder. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to name it FCP X export. Perfect. And the first thing we're going to do is adjust the video settings. So we're going to go ahead and choose settings and we're going to change this to H264. And I'm, you could adjust these settings to your own extent. Some people keep it on high. Some go to a little bit above medium, but I like to go all out and go to best. So we're going to do the keyframes. We're going to set it to automatic, then press OK. And now for the audio settings, we are going to go to AAC, and then we should have this at 44.1 with 256 kilobits per second, and the quality should be best. And then we have to adjust the size of the video, so we're going to go ahead and choose, click the size tab. And we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080, which is full HD 1080p. And then we're going to go ahead and click save. All right, so now that that is saved, we can go ahead and go back into Final Cut Pro 10. And once again, if we choose the Share tab, if we go to Export Movie, oops, that's my bad. If we go into Export Using Compressor Settings, that is what we want. All right, and you will see you get your custom thing. You may have to open up the Disclosure Triangle in order to see that folder, but that is the export that we made, FCP 10 Export. And you're going to go sit, if you see your summary, this is exactly what you created. File type, QuickTime Movie, estimated size unknown. There's your bit rate as well as your size and your frame rate. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And you see I have created the first one, which is FCP 10 Test Export 1. We're going to go ahead and change that to 2 and press save. And I will come back to you when this is done. One more thing to note here is that while this is exporting, you can go ahead and choose the share monitor, share monitor, which gives you a more in-depth analysis of what you have exported as well as what is exporting at the moment. So now that it is done, Final Cut Pro 10 by default opens up the movie in QuickTime 10, but we don't need that. So we're just going to go ahead and close it out. And we're also going to close out the share monitor. Let's go ahead and swipe up to the desktop. And there is the new file that we just exported with the compressor for settings. So let's go ahead and get info, and there we go. That is only 19.9 megabytes. So let's compare both of them. Let's see what that one was again. 118.1 megabytes, and think, that's just for like a one minute, five second clip. Imagine what it will be for like about five minutes, or 10 minutes, or even just like a short film for like 15 minutes. So just to recap, if you're using Compressor 4 with Final Cut Pro 10, what you can actually do is, like I said, share, export using compressor settings. But if you're using a previous version of compressor, let's actually show you that now. There it is. That is this. This is actually compressor three, and you will notice that it looks almost exactly the same as compressor four. 
So I'm actually not sure as to what Apple did to Compressor 4 to make it look different aside from adding a bit more color to the icon. But what you can actually do is take what you've already um, exported with Final Cut Pro 10 and drag it into the target and then set your custom export here. So anyway, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.